by Tim Tebow from the Broncos. This guy really inspired me because as some of you may know that watch or follow football, this guy is doing really amazing things. Not only that, he's so humble. He speaks really highly of other people, his teammates, and I'm all about that. So he inspired me, his enthusiasm, his words, and I decided to do a makeup tutorial inspired by his uniform in the Broncos. So this is the look that I came up with. It is using blues and oranges and a little bit of white right in the inner corner like the uniform. Um, and I did put a little bit of gold, which is not part of the uniform color, but I still decided to do that just to make the makeup look twinkle a little bit and stand out. So I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial. Stick around. I'll show you all the steps and let's get this tutorial I'm started. I'm going to take my bare canvas paint by MAC as a base. Apply it all over the lid, taking it all the way up to the brow bone area and just blending out a thin layer all over. Placing it right on the lid, leaving about the inner one third alone. Slightly past the crease, not too much. And leaving the outer one corner alone as well. And placing just a little bit right in the inner part of the eye and blending it in with the orange slightly right where they meet. Just to brighten out the eyes and then the team it has a little bit of white on it. I'll be placing it right on the outer corner of the eye. Overlapping the orange slightly. This will create depth and make your eyes appear a little bit bigger. Then taking it with the tip on like halfway on the crease. Tapping my brush for the excess and placing it right over the black and then going in into the crease. That black just helps with uh, making the blue a little bit darker. And just like that. We could just place a darker blue eyeshadow on there, but it won't create the same effect. So we're just going to go ahead and continue intensifying the look right on the outer part of the eye. Going about halfway. And then when you head in towards the inner part of the lid, um, you want to just be light handed, making it a lighter blue. So you want to keep a darker blue on the outer corner or on the outer half of the lid and then just feathering it out towards the inner part of the eye. Placing it right over just for blending. Placing a little bit of that right on my brow bone and blending these colors out just so that there's a nice transition. Placing it right on my waterline just to make the eyes appear bigger and we're also going to be using it because it is part of the uniform color that he wears. And I'm going to be placing it right on the outer corner of the lower lash line. And you want to just stick to that one third and outer corner. Just to make the eyes appear a little bit whiter. And then I'm going to be taking my smudger brush and taking fresh water again. And placing it right under the eye bringing out that really beautiful blue. I love it because it's a really deep blue color. All right, and then I'm gonna be lining my upper lash line close to the lash line as possible. All right, perfect. Then taking an angled brush, which I will be using Max 208 in Carbon by MAC, matte black color. Overlapping that feline eyeliner that we just placed and then blending this out. You can also use liquid liner, but I feel that it, this is a lot softer way to do eyeliner and I love it. So just line this up and blend it out to create a softer eyeliner look. I'm then going to be taking MAC Super Stick Liquid Liner in Pure Show, which is beautiful. I had to use it. I know that they don't have gold in their uniform, but I had to use it because I love it. And it'll make the eyes pop a lot more. So I'm going to be placing it right over the black eyeliner, just slightly going almost just half, halfway. This will also help define the eyeliner as well. 
So you can see it's beautiful. All right, y'all. So I already applied my false eyelashes, and they are mink lashes that I got from velourlashes.com. And next, I'm going to be applying my um, lipstick, and I'm going to be applying my MAC concealer first just to take off any of the pink undertone of my lips. Then I will be taking MAC Flesh Pot, which is a really nude color. I will be applying my lip gloss in see-through. And voila! So this is the look. As you can see, it's really pretty. I think that it's um, actually nicer than I thought combining both of these colors together. So I hope that you all enjoyed it.